So what was it like being married? Well, that's hard for sure. But there's something that feels so good about sharing your life with somebody. How do you share your life with somebody? Well, we grew up together. I, mean, I used to read all of her writing all through her master's and PhD. And she read every word I ever wrote. We were a big influence on each other. In what way did you influence her? She came from a background where nothing was ever good enough. And that was something that weighed heavy on her. But in our house together, there was a sense of just trying stuff and you know, allowing each other to fail and to be excited about things. That was liberating for her. It was exciting to see her grow. Both of us grow and change together. But, you know, that's also the hard part. Growing apart or changing without it scaring the other person. I still find myself having conversations with her in my mind. Like hashing old arguments and defending myself against something she said about me. Man, I know what you mean. Last week, my feelings were hurt by something you said before that I don't know what it's like to lose something, and I oh, found myself... I'm sorry I said that. I'm no, just... it's okay. It's okay. I just... I caught myself thinking about it over and over, and... and then I realized that I was simply remembering it as something that was wrong with me. That was a story I was telling myself, that I was somehow inferior. Isn't that interesting? The past is just a story we tell ourselves. And sometimes I think I've felt everything I'm ever going to feel. And from here on out, I'm not going to feel anything new. I know for a fact that is not true. I've seen you feel joy. I've seen you marvel at things. I mean, you just might not see it at this exact time, but that's understandable. You've been through a lot lately. Tonight after you were gone, I thought a lot about you, and I thought, why do I love you? And then I felt everything in me, just let go of everything I was holding on to so tightly, and it hit me that I don't have an intellectual reason. I don't need one. I trust myself. I trust my feelings. I'm not going to try to be anything other than who I am anymore, and I hope you can accept that. I can. I will. You know, I can feel the fear that you carry around, and I wish there was something I could do to help you let go of it, because if you could, I don't think you'd feel so alone anymore. You're beautiful. Thank you, Theodore. Read it or.